Creature Compadres, written by Evan Olo and Adalis Ramirez. Okay, here's the game plan for this uh, failing animal conservatory. We are in need of a graphic designer, so we are going to get one. Job ads are going to put out, interest will spark, and we'll have a professional and qualified candidate in no time. How does that sound? I only wrote down like three and a half of those words, but I think I have a general idea. Graphic designer, jobs, ads, candidate. Yeah, that's pretty much it. How are we even supposed to make an ad if we don't even have a graphic designer? Yeah, this works. What are we gonna do? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. I just feel like I've lost my confidence since Julie kicked me out. I feel lost and these dumb interviews aren't easing anything. Hey, listen, just don't think about your ex-girlfriend right now. This is our time, your time to prove that we can find the best in the biz and that the compadres are the real deal, right? Ellen, I want to hug you right now. Okay, let's do this. Let's find ourselves a graphic designer. Hi, miss. Can you hear me? We're ready for you. It's heavy, heavy. Oh, hello, babe. Sorry about that. This old woman loves to have a blood pumping. You know, a little Madonna over here, a little Shakira over there, and Wally, you got yourself a party. Oh, aren't you a delight, honey? You probably got all the men at your fingertips. Well, no, not quite. <laughs> Very far from that, actually. Well, anyways, thank you for meeting with us today, Miss Shala Lala. Let's get started. Um, can you tell us why you're interested in this position? Of course I can, darling. Well, you see. I'm a Gemini, and I read my horoscope a couple days ago, and it told me that this month was it. It was going to be the month that I'm going to find my dream job. And sure enough, I found your ad on Facebook. There it was, right before my eyes. Destiny. It was perfect for me. Hey. Huh, interesting. Destiny, you call it? Carla. Um, well, that's great and all, but do you have any experience with graphic design? Ah, uh, do I have any experience? Um, of course I do, sweetheart. Y you see, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm an animal whisperer. Yeah, right. Okay, come on, lady. We don't have time to be fooling around. So if you just keep... Meow, meow. I love you too, Jeffrey. I love you too. Meow, meow, Oh no, I can do this, darling. I can draw anything, a tiger, a gorilla, you name it. I can add some glitter if you like. Quite frankly, you have no experience in graphic design for an animal conservatory. Yeah. And being an animal whisperer <laughs> does not count. Ellen is right, Prana, we're going to have to end this interview or whatever this is. Thank you for your time. Ellen, please tell me we have more people to interview. You gotta admit, she was very amusing. <laughs> Anyways, yes, we do. Oh wait, we only have one more. His name is Hector Titlin. I'm sure he'll be the right one for us. He has to be it. If he isn't the one, then I don't know, Alan, we'll have to close down the conservatory. We need the exposure that a graphic designer can bring us.
Okay, and here we go. Hello? Hi, can you guys hear me? So, Tillin, are you there? I'm, I'm here. You're not, I'm... Oh, Hector, you're muted. We can't hear you. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, I, I must look local talking to myself. That's all right, Hector. Um, let's just get this interview started. Alan? Right. So, Mr. Titlin, can you tell us why you're interested in this position? Um, uh, uh well, your name is Creature Compadres. Yeah. And? And that name is Epic. Or how my uh, high school students say, is that chido? That's it? Well, I, I need friends. Your name has compadres in it. Y you see, I'm a high school teacher looking to uh, get away from all those chamacos. They drive me crazy. It must be crazy that you would want to leave a stable job for this. Uh, I spent my college days studying hard, and I've got no social life. So now it's time to live it up. So Hector, what kind of experience do you have in graphic design? Uh, a few years back, uh, I, I I made this killer flyer uh, for my uh, other primas quinceañera. It had like balloons and confetti. And stuff. Is that all the experience you have? Yes, but I've got a big brain. I mean, how hard can it be? Okay, thank you for your time, Mr. Titlin. We'll be in touch soon, I promise. So, no? <laughs> of course not! Why can't anything go well for me? What? Why are the only people we're getting unqualified? Well, they are qualified for something. What? Well, Prana sure is an odd character, but she's obviously great with animals. Maybe too great, but that's a good point, Alan. And Hector could definitely be like a fun person or something. Fun person? It's been a long day. Don't get petty with me now. In the end, both candidates landed a job with the Creature Compadres. Hector became the customer service agent for the Compadres. It's been reported that he's only broken out into song twice since his hiring three days ago. He was last seen writing his own Corridos album in the park. Prana became their official animal whisperer. She has last been seen trying to convince a hummingbird to stop humming near her van down by the river. Meanwhile, back with Carla and Alan, they soon realized that simplicity is a wonderful asset in design. Even though the compadres got lucky finding positions for Prana and Hector, it's unknown what is happening with them right now. Because they never found a graphic designer, probably more debt and stress going on with Carla, and I bet Alan is feeling a bit depressed after his girlfriend pressured him into settling down. You know, a man just wants to keep his youth. So everything seems to be going quite well, honestly. Oh, how am I doing? Pretty all right, although I have a popcorn kernel stuck in between my molars right now. <laughs>